Welcome to another exciting journey into the world of quantum mechanics. Today, we're diving into something super cool, quantum information holography, or QIH. It's a fascinating concept that merges the mysteries of quantum mechanics with the wonders of holography. At the heart of QIH are the tiny building blocks of the universe, qubits. These are not just any bits, they are quantum bits that hold the key to understanding the fabric of reality. Imagine the universe as a hologram where every tiny bit of information is stored at the most fundamental level. This is where qubits come into play. These bits, known as qubits, are the stars of our show today. They are the fundamental units that make up the quantum world. Now, picture a glowing ball floating in the vastness of space. This is what we call the block sphere. The block sphere is a visual representation that helps us understand how a qubit behaves in its quantum state. The surface of this sphere shows all the possible states a qubit can be in, giving us a comprehensive view of its potential. A little arrow, known as the quantum state vector, or QSV, points to the qubit's current state. This vector is crucial in understanding the qubit's behavior. Think of this arrow like the hand on a clock, always spinning and changing direction, indicating the passage of time and the state of the qubit. Where it points tells us the qubit's state at any given moment. When the arrow points straight up, the qubit is in state zero, and when it points straight down, the qubit is in state one. But the most intriguing part is what happens in between these states. This in-between state is called superposition, and it's like a dimmer switch that allows the qubit to exist in multiple states simultaneously. The qubit can be anywhere between zero and one. The arrow, or QSV, also spins, adding another layer of complexity. This spinning motion adds more information and creates intricate patterns that tell us about how qubits interact with each other. In the realm of QIH, qubits don't exist in isolation. They form a 3D grid, much like a giant connect-the-dots puzzle that constitutes the very fabric of space and time. These qubits communicate with each other through patterns, resembling waves, that reveal the universe's shape, movement and energy. Imagine zooming out from one glowing ball to see a whole network of them, all connected by glowing lines. Each ball's arrow spins in harmony with the others, creating ripples across the entire grid. These ripples form the patterns that create the hologram we perceive as space and time. The arrows on each sphere influence one another, weaving a complex web of interactions. The spinning arrows illustrate how time progresses, while their angles represent the myriad possibilities within the quantum realm. So, what does all this mean for our understanding of the universe? The block sphere is more than just a geometric shape. It provides us with a framework to comprehend how the universe stores information, much like a hologram. It's a window into the very nature of reality, showing us how everything operates one spinning qubit at a time. Thanks for watching. Till next time, keep wondering.